the micro and the macro make for a complete view of data management. More and more organizations are recognizing the business value of data, which raises the question of how managing data influences data analytics, business decision making, and profits. Here, we'll explore the two key facets of data management, data modeling and data architecture, including the relationship between them and how they differ. To learn more about the data modeling process and data modeling techniques, click the link above or in the description below. Generally speaking, data modeling takes a micro view of data, while data architecture takes a macro view. But they go hand in hand with each other, and here are the basics. Data modeling is the process of creating a visual representation of data entities. A data model can be thought of as a diagram, showing the attributes of data elements and how different elements relate to each other. Data architecture documents an organization's data assets, maps how data flows through its systems, and provides a blueprint for managing data. Its goal is to establish a solid foundation for data processing, management, and usage. Data modeling focuses on the details of specific data assets, like the data from a product sale, for instance. The goal is to represent business concepts, their relationships, and their values of each entity. Data modelers are responsible for things like developing diagrams that represent connections among data entities, identifying each entity's characteristics and properties, developing and validating logical data models, transforming logical models into physical representations, and more. Data architecture, on the other hand, creates a conceptual framework for overall data management and usage. A data architecture includes data models, data flow diagrams, a high-level infrastructure design, and other documents. Data architects are responsible for outlining data management's governing standards and principles, documenting how data flows from its origination and acquisition points, outlining data integration techniques and processes, scoping the types of data management frameworks to be used, and more. Ultimately, data modeling and architecture complement each other. Well-defined data models inform data architecture design and technology selection, while an established data architecture simplifies the data modeler's job. What do you think? How else do data modeling and data architecture complement each other? Share your thoughts in the comments below and please hit that like button.